His word says the what makes us different is his presence. You know, I was reading Exodus, which is the story of Moses, and Moses was telling him, if you don't go with us, I don't want to go because what makes us different is your presence. If you if your presence isn't upon us, then we're just like the rest of the world. So we should all desire to carry the presence of God because that's what's going to make us different. Hi guys, welcome back to another podcast. Guys, I'm excited. I'm excited to be back because I'm not going to lie, this week we're a little late on posting, you know, but hey, praise God that we're here and we're staying consistent on our weekly post. Now, I'm not going to lie. This week I was like, man, Lord, you know, I was really, I'm really thinking on my vision and I really want to be able to uh, bring this podcast a name. And I think we landed on Kingdom Talk. I want this to be a Kingdom Talk. You know, I want us to talk about the Kingdom of God. And honestly, I want to be able to bring you guys tools on your walk with God. You know, like I want to, I don't just want to talk about random stuff. I want to talk, bring you guys testimonies, bring you guys things that have helped me on my walk because this walk ain't easy and it ain't for the week. But hey, that's what we're here for. We are a community. And today I really want to be, I want to share with you guys two books that really elevated my prayer life to the next level. Because I think one of the most common comments that I hear people or people that ask me, like the most common question is like, hey, like, how do you pray like that? Or, you know, how do you pray? I just don't know how to pray. And I think that's very common when you're first starting your walk with God. But it's so important, you know, that we're not afraid to like pray. Um, and I think the more you, you, you're with your walk, you'll learn that it's a communion with God. It's really just talking to your father. It's really just talking to him, but it can be very like, I don't know what to say. Am I just asking? Or, you know, you, a lot of the times you'll just start by asking because that's, you don't know, right? People tell me all the time, it's because I don't know how to pray. And I want, one time I heard this pastor say, if you know how to gossip and you know how to complain, you know how to pray. So I always say that now I'm like, mm, do you know how to complain? But it's true. You know, it's really just having a conversation with your father. Now there, um, the more the, as you, as you get closer to God, your prayer life will start to change. You know what I mean? And, uh, I want to share two books with you guys that I read probably like a year ago, a little bit, a little bit over a year ago that really took my prayer life to the next level. Now, I'm not going to lie to you guys. I've always, since I was young, I've had this desire to pray or like to talk to God. Um, so even before when I wasn't like righteously walking with God or like, you know, going to church and doing things right, that I was still like, you know, I guess you could say look lukewarm Christian. I always understood the importance of prayer. Like, because when I was, if you guys have heard my testimony, you guys understand why. But I always knew that there was so much power in prayer, right? Not to how I know now, but I always still talk to God in my own way. The reason why I tell you guys that these two books really elevated my prayers or I feel like have helped me understand like, prayer in a, on another level. I'm going to just get into it. The first book, and I talk about it all the time, you guys, I don't have it here with me, but it's from Benny Hen, and it's called Good Morning, Holy Spirit. And that book, guys, who just thinking about it makes me like want to cry because it's such a good book. It's it just really um, talks or it showed me personally really who the Holy Spirit is and how, how what kind of a relationship you can have with the Holy Spirit. Now, uh, up until that point, I knew of the Holy Spirit, but I didn't know the Holy Spirit. You know what I mean? I didn't wake up in the morning and was like, like intentionally seeking him, like good morning, Holy Spirit. Like he is so real. He is just as real as you and I, like his word says that he is a comforter. It's a huge difference on like knowing of the Holy Spirit and knowing the Holy Spirit. And I want to read to you guys. It's John 14, 15. It says, if you love me, keep my commands and I will ask the father and he will give you another advocate to help you and be with you forever. The spirit of truth, the, the world cannot accept him because it neither sees him nor knows him. And he's talking about the Holy Spirit, right? So when Jesus left, he's like, I'm going to ask the father to send you the Holy Spirit. After I read that book, and I understood that and I started to like actively like intentionally seeking him like a person like I realized that he's just as real as you and I like my prayer life changed like completely completely like the way I spoke to him the way I I'm getting emotional the way I invited him in and like when I after I finished like as soon as I started reading that book like I was bawling my eyes out God really 
like spoke to me in that book, even before I read it, like one of my friends, um, she had actually been fasting for like five days. Right. And she called me and she's like, Hey friend, like, this is so weird, but I just finished fast and my whole fast, like God was just talking to me about you. And he told me that you have to read this book called good morning, Holy spirit, because you, you are going to have a relationship with the Holy spirit. Like he's the one that's going to guide you and you're going to go places where you need him. Like he's going to be so real to you. And when she was telling me this, like, I was like, okay, you know, I thought I like, again, I knew of the Holy spirit, but when I read that book, I knew exactly what she meant and what like, why God told her that, you know what I mean? So as soon as I start that book, I'm literally bawling my eyes out. Like I just felt his presence. Like it was something so different, right? And when I finished reading the book, I really was like, Holy Spirit, I'm so sorry that for years I neglected you. Like you were always there. Like he is a comforter. Like he is literally that inner voice that tells you, you shouldn't do that. Or that redirects you. He is that inner voice. And when you acknowledge it and you realize who he is, like he's the one that's gonna, he's the one that's gonna help you pray. He's the one like that I I ask him, like, man, Holy Spirit, like doing these podcasts, like it's really like it's not as easy as just getting on here and talking. Cause I tell him, like, I don't want to just want to speak whatever I want to speak. I want you to, to guide me, Holy Spirit. So he really is the one that strengthens me and gives me the courage to do these podcasts because I'm gonna be very honest with you, like. It can sometimes be a little bit like overwhelming. Like, can I do this? Can I not? You know what I mean? But because we have the Holy Spirit within us, he's the one that gives us a strength. He's the one that renews our mind, right? To give us that understanding that it's not us, but it's the one who lives within us, right? So that's one book. And then the second book, it's called The Blood. It's also by Benny Hinn. Now this book, I was not, it was very like unexpected because one of my friends is like, hey, we finished reading Good Morning Holy Spirit. And she's like, dude, we need to read The Blood, which is the, the book that he wrote after Good Morning Holy Spirit, which is this one right here. It's called the blood by Benny Hen. Now this book, um, also when I, when I started reading this book, I was going through a season where I was like, man, God, I want to feel you more. I want to hear you more. You know what I mean? And when I, as soon as I say the first page, the first page, I was, I just felt his presence. And when I started to read this book, this book really gave me the understanding of the power of the blood. Like, you know, we hear, oh, you know, people like, oh, declare the blood. But when you understand the power that the blood carries, the reason why I tell you that it elevated my prayers to the next level is because I understood the authority that we carry and that we can speak when we understand who we serve. When you understand the power of the Holy Spirit, and you understand that he lives within you and he is literally, I, I know he's my best friend. And when you understand the power that the blood of Jesus carries, and when you start to pray and you start to declare these things, like you start to declare the blood over your family, the blood over your, the blood over your finances, the blood. I literally declare the blood over my household every day, over my children, over my, my, you know, everything and everyone. But it's not just like I declare, like I understand the power that the blood carries because this book goes into like, it just explains all of that to you. Now we know these things, right? Because we hear them preach to us and we know we read the Bible, but when you truly like understand and walk in it, and when you speak it, you understand that you, that, that you understand the authority that you carry, like it's different. It elevates your prayer life to the next level because I started, I just felt like I started to pray different. You know, it wasn't no longer these prayers of like, Oh, you know, God, my prayers now, where prayers with authority, you know, in church, I'm in this, in the, um, Guerreras de Oración, right? Like prayer warriors. So we like intercede for the church. We pray for people in church. And in the beginning, I'm not going to lie to you. Like it was so difficult for me. Like it was difficult. Like I didn't really want to do it, you know? And I remember the very first time that, um, that God really put it in my heart, like go pray for that person. I was like, you yeah, know, no, but it was like this tugging at my heart, like go pray for that person. And I was like, no. And it wasn't because I didn't, one, I didn't know the Holy, the, I didn't like, one, I had not read that book, Good Morning Holy Spirit. So I didn't have that relationship with the Holy Spirit yet where I could like, I knew it was him. And 
I still didn't really believe that I had that kind of authority. You know what I mean? I was still very like, I don't want to pray for somebody and let it be my emotions. Until this day, I always tell him that. Like, I will only pray for someone if you lead me to prayer. Or if like, if they ask me, hey, can you pray for me? Then yes, right? But I'm very like, I had a really, in the beginning, I had a hard time praying for people. Not because I didn't want to pray for them, but because I never wanted to be led by my own emotion, right? I always wanted to be led by the Holy Spirit. And when I prayed for somebody, for it to be like an effective prayer, which every prayer is effective, to be honest with you. Like, I'm not saying that some are more powerful than others, no. But I, I truly believe that when you understand the authority that you carry and you understand that the God that you serve backs up your prayers and the Holy Spirit is the one guided you, you understand that there's power in your prayers. You know what I mean? Again, I think everybody should pray all the time. Like start with just talking to God, really. Like that's really what it's all about. It's just that communion with God, that communion with the Holy Spirit. But if you guys want to you know, um, really know the Holy Spirit on another level or, you know, obviously the, the, the first book is going to be the Bible. Like when you read the Bible, you're going to know who you really know who God is. And when I started to read the Bible was when I, um, like learned and really had the fear of God because in the word, you truly see who God is you know, we see a lot or preachers talk a lot, a lot about, Oh, God is love. And God is yeah, but you also, God is like a father. You know, when your kids don't act right, he's got he's to make you act right. Like that's a God that we really serve, you know? So when I when you read the Bible, you get to really know God, right? But again, these two books are just books that I read um, that really I feel elevated my prayer life because I truly understood who the Holy Spirit was or I, I who the Holy Spirit was, who the Holy Spirit is, and the blood is just allowed me to really understand the power of the, like the blood of Jesus. Right. And you should, th you probably think, well, you should already know that, but the way it was explained, it just, I really understood it on another level. So when I pray, I pray with authority because I, I believe what I'm praying. I believe it. And you know what? It has a lot to do with also like these books allow you to like renew your mind. You know, we, a lot of the times like we think that we're doing these, this stuff, like you think, Oh, I'm praying. Like, it's just me. Like, no, like when you pray, you're, surrendering to God, you're humbling before humbling yourself before God. And I think that's really what, what moves God's heart, right? When we humble ourselves before him. So yeah, guys, those are, those are the three books I should say the Bible, number one, obviously, and then the good morning, Holy spirit by Benny Hinn and the blood by Benny Hinn. Those books have completely changed my walk also, you know, because you see things different and you truly understand it and you truly believe the words that come out of your mouth. And it's not because you're speaking those words, but because you always want to be led by the Holy Spirit. At least I do. Like, I don't want I always tell him, I don't want to do I always tell him, I don't want to do anything if you don't go with me, right? Because if not, then it's just going to be me. And if I, the, the only thing that makes his word says, the, what makes us different is his presence. You know, I was reading Exodus, which is the story of Moses. And Moses was telling him, if you don't go with us, I don't want to go because what makes us different is your presence. If you, if your presence isn't upon us, then we're just like the rest of the world. So we should all desire to carry the presence of God because that's, what's going to make us different. You know? So I really, I guess in this video, I encourage you to just pray, you know, strengthen your prayer life. It don't matter if you don't read the books, just strengthen your prayer life. If you want to start with just talking to God, just talk to God. If you want to start by just like, worshiping God and not necessarily like obviously worship with music, right? But you can also worship God in silence, just li just literally sitting there and just letting him minister you or you minister God, like tell him how amazing he, he is. Thank him for what he's already done for what he's doing and what he's getting ready to do in your life, you know, and also just like glorifying him, thanking him. Thank you, father, because you woke me up this morning. Thank you, father, for my family. Thank you for the things that you're doing and the things that you're getting ready to do. And you need to, I think we need to understand the power of, of our tongue. Like what we declare can be life or death. Like, so we have to be so careful, even when joking around, like, I am now coming to the understanding. I read um, Proverbs and man, um, I really understood the power of, you know, staying silent, 
Sometimes, you know, God's like, it's better for you to be silent than for you to, to speak foolishly. Like we have to be wise when we speak, not foolish. And sometimes too much talking can lead to sin. So that's one of the things that I've been learning, but it's taken me reading the word, like really reading the word, uh, like meditating on the word and allowing the Holy Spirit to like, to give me that revelation. Every time before I read the Bible or before I read any book, my devotionals is I tell the Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit, give me revelation, give me your wisdom, give me your discernment, because I don't just want to read words out of a book. I want to, I want those books to like, give me, I want to, I want to be able to be fruitful. You know, I want to gain, I want whatever, whatever I read, I want to be able to gain that revelation, you know, because when we read the word of God, the word is God. Oh yes, guys. So I just wanted to really share that with you guys. Those are three of the books that I encourage you guys to read. And I also encourage you guys just to strengthen your prayer life, you know, pray, worship, whatever works for you, just do it. And I really hope you guys found this video helpful. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment and turn on that bell notification. So every time I post a video, you get notified. Bye guys.